Good evening. Ralph E. Hartman, right in candidate for uh, Congress, 16th District, out on the roadside again for a little while. I've been reviewing files continuing, and another item that I had set aside is uh, from May of 2014. Another worry suddenly occurred. A woman alleging being from Salt Lake City in Utah wanted to suddenly threaten that they had burned up uh, people that they termed angels in Salt Lake City. And, uh, you know, it's really just a terribly worrisome subject. I had sent it away, but I, I, honestly, I'm telling you the truth that there is so much various subject put at me day to day that uh, oftentimes I have to send my reports and then kind of put them out of my mind, uh, hoping that the person's receiving or being dutiful and, and uh, then be working on other matters. Uh, unfortunately, one woman that was participating uh, was alleging being my youngest sister, whom I only, only knew when she was a uh, 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 child all up until uh, up until she was a teenager you know she was a very good girl and I knew her and that I wouldn't have wanted to think that she'd be involved in anything bad at all so it was kind of difficult to think about but, but uh, you know I did send the report so anyway uh, everything is still being interfered at by the operation uh, they made a secret organization that was absolutely obsessed about some days of alleged being Marines they don't want there to be any acceptance of anything. They don't want me to ever have any assistance or any conversation or uh, about any of these re reports. All through the years, uh, there have been thousands, but not even one time did they, the participants even want to mention any detail of any of them. Didn't want me to be called about anything. Didn't want me to ever be interviewed by any news. All they ever wanted to do was uh, steal from my files, change it around to suit themselves, and break in and spy at my life so I could never have anything else. So anyway, I, I elaborated a little bit more because they interrupted me as I spoke. Uh, their, their voices, they're kind of scattered. When voices are used from traffic, it's kind of scattered rather than direct. And so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't necessarily show up on a, a small microphone of these uh, computers. So anyway, that was the concern back then. I'm always against burning threats. You know, the burning threats are terrible. You know, I'll tell you since then, uh, there was a woman who, another woman who, who alleged being from Salt Lake City one day. I, I don't remember exactly when, but the journal is honest about it. I actually said that, that that in Utah they used to sometimes take people off the train, the train that passes through Utah or uh, Salt Lake City. That they actually uh, threatened that they used to take people off trains to burn. You know, it's really very terrible. And I I'm always for everyone being saved instead. Again, as always, thanks for your consideration. And there are so many uh, subjects that would really be appropriate to Congress. So many matters could be resolved on behalf of many millions of people. Thanks again. Have a good one.